Welcome back to another episode of our Guild Wars 1 playthrough. And we are in the iconic Drachnar's Forge. We finished all of the Crystal Desert. We went everywhere, explored every inch of it, basically. And we're going to spend this episode in Drachnar's Forge a little bit. I'm not sure it'll, if it'll take the whole episode, but what I want to do is I want to upgrade our armor finally. If you see here, I'm using like a mask that I bought in like Coral Falls. And then this armor, I'm pretty sure I bought it in either Yak's Bend or Lion's Arch. I can't remember exactly how far ago I purchased it, but I'm due for upgrade. And I've been pinching all of my pennies. I've got 15k saved up. Plus, I got a bunch of materials that I can sell for gold if I need to. And I also need to salvage a bunch of this junk uh, for more gold if we need to. So yeah, this episode, we're going to be exploring Drachnar's Forge, picking up some more quests. Um, I don't think it'll take the whole time, but... Yeah, I might make this a separate episode. If you're not interested in this kind of thing, feel free to skip it and go to uh, the next one where we'll be back on the road. Uh, this is a quest. Vanya gives us a quest. Okay, this is just telling us to go back to the desert. Um, and okay, she's just letting us know, like, you can change your secondaries. You already know that. Uh, and then more importantly, she gives another plus 15 attribute quest. We're definitely going to do this eventually. I'm not sure if we'll do it this episode or not. We'll see. But yeah, after we do this quest, we'll be a fully fledged, maxed out, uh, stat wise, maxed out level 20 character. Um, so let's head over to Crafter's Corner. Little Drachnar's Forge uh, tour guide. Heading to the crafter's corner. This was this this outpost. I think this used to be a hub. Like there used to be so many people here and people running here to get maxed armor. They used to run here from all the way up here in Beacon's Perch. You could buy you could buy runs that just take you from here all the way down because people just couldn't they couldn't wait. They wanted to get max armor ASAP. But we did it. We did it ourselves the old-fashioned way. We did it the, by the missions, by the by the uh, sweat on our brow, blood, sweat, and tears. We made it here. And there's a lot of different costume or uh, armor we can buy. Back in the day, each... Well, there's players here. Hey. Back in the day, you each of these outfits used to have, like, um, permanent runes inside like you couldn't change them so actually there there were stat incentives to be getting to, to purchase these other uh armors i guess later on down the road they realized people care a lot about their appearance and you know some armor armors were like objectively better than others so now it's just purely for aesthetic purposes us being the cheapskates we are even though i love the way this armor looks i think i'm eyeing the performer attire because bolts of cloths and bolts of silk currently are the cheapest materials you can get uh, so we're gonna buy some materials but before that let's go ahead and salvage as much of this junk as possible so let's go to Thayun, that's like a Korean name. Interesting. Uh, Thayun, and we're going to get a salvage kit. And we're going to see how much gold we can squeeze from all this junk. All right, we need to salvage this stuff. Um, all right. Wood planks. Wood plank. Iron, nice. Uh, more iron, very good. Move over to this one. Tanned hide. I think we need some tanned hide, actually. Granite slabs. 
We should give us El Chitin. Chitin, whatever. Ooh, we have a Monstrous Fang. I think that's worth a lot, actually. I forgot I had that. Glittering Dust, that's worth a lot. We need some of that, too. And then more glittering dust. Wow, we're gonna be really rich after this. Titan. Scales, those are worth quite a bit, I think. Maybe. Now, finally. Oh, I need more. Go. Wood planks, okay. There's like a salvage all button. Do I have any more stuff? Uh, not really. I'm gonna sell that chalice. I'm not, haven't used that in ever. Get out of here. Oh, I got more minotaur horns. Let's salvage these minotaur horns. Bones. Those are very valuable these days. All right. Let's see how much money we have. Oh, actually, let's see how what we need to craft. We got 28 glittering dust. And how much do we need? This guy, Morgren, I think. Talk to this one really quick. Actually, the enchanter armor. No, no, it doesn't look good. Courtly attire looks the best. But I don't want to spend all that money on linen. We're getting we're getting cheapo. Cheapo armor. We're getting performer attire here. Oh, we could also get Tyrion armor. Which one looks better? Oh, this is a tough choice. Yeah, yeah change of plans. We're getting Tyrion attire. So we need, what is that? T. Oh. 32 silk and like 200 bolts of cloth. Is that right? Did I do my math right? I think that's correct. So we'll come over here. Let's go ahead and buy all the materials that we need first, just to make sure we don't get rid of anything. 32 silk. Silk is currently 120. Okay, we got our 32 silk. Now we need 200... Uh, 200 bolts of cloth. Only 100 per stack. Very good price. Got two extra ones. Okay, now we're gonna get our max armor. Here we go, moment of truth. And then I'm gonna need to salvage some of this, some of these runes from these so we can... Put them on. Is this where we're getting? No. This one. Uh, Tyrion attire. I think this looks the coolest from the price wise. And the mask we're going to get, I think we're going to go for, um, we're going to go for uh, versatility. We're going to get a fast casting. Do I get fast casting or inspiration? Which one? Which one's more like versatile? I guess it doesn't matter. Because they're both versatile. Well, let's get fast casting. I don't know if there's the right choice. Wow, that was like 10k that we spent. Let's equip our stuff. And just like that, we are max armor. 
Looks pretty sweet. Did I buy the right mask? I wanted the sleek mask, actually, but it'll have to do. All right, let's go. Let's salvage this stuff. Uh, that one. Oh, out of out of my elite salvage kit. Expert salvage kit. I should salvage these runes. Another one. Another one. I think Vite is worth more. Oh, we lost it. Last one. Virtuoso. All right, let's go ahead and salvage this armor, too. We can recoup some money from them. Not a lot, but a little bit. Oops. There we go. All right, we're going to sell all of our junk now, all of our materials, get some money back. See, look, that monstrous fane is worth 1.5k. That's awesome these back I guess we had extra bolt of silk that's weird I bought too many I guess I did my math wrong not surprised and then sell these suckers we should get a lot of our gold back yeah glittering dust this is worth so much Iron is also worth quite a bit. Bones worth the most. Or, uh, no, glittering dust is worth the most, isn't it? And that'll do it. We're back over 10k. So, total, we spent like. We spent like. What did we start with? I'll have to check at the start of the video again. I think we started with like 15,000. We spent 5k on everything. Just because we had. Uh, we were able to salvage so many extra materials and sell them back so five thousand to get max armor last thing that's left of course is to put runes on our insignias and runes on our equipment i'm not totally well, actually where's the rune trader there not totally convinced of like which ones we need i don't think i'm going to use this purity rune of purity Oh, it's not bad. Radiant Signet, I guess we should use. I'll put it on my chest. That plus three energy. The Rune of Vite, we should definitely use. Yeah, we'll just put them on. Put this on it. Gloves or something. And then we'll just put these on random items this on our oh that oh i shouldn't have done that okay i'll put these on leggings i guess oh i'm wasting i should have uh whatever <laughs> i'm gonna replace them later anyway i think and that is it let's buy some which, which one does not have anything on it? We need to put a rune on this. A rune on this. Or an insignia on this one. We need to put a rune on these. A rune on these. We have some space for runes. Let's get a rune of vigor. How much is that? Ooh, it's kind of expensive. Okay, not that. Let's get a rune of... Ooh, these are expensive. All right. I think we're okay right now. This is it. All right, so it's a short video for right now. I'm, I'm going to cut this one short. 
and then uh yeah it's just a nice little bonus episode of me decking out my character weapons actually let's look at weapons really quick do you have any tips on which runes and insignias i should use i'm open for that as well Yeah, so he doesn't sell any weapons, it looks like, except for, like, martial weapons. Doesn't really sell, doesn't sell any caster weapons, all offhands. We're not going to be able to replace our cane just yet. We can customize it, though. Might as well do that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is about it. We got fully maxed out armor. We got fast casting, mask... Got pretty much either a rune or insignia on everything. Pretty good. Pretty decent defensive spike that we just hit. When we come back, we're either going to do the, the attribute quest, or if something else is on the way, like a mission or something, we might do that first. Need to just see where the road takes us. But anyway, uh, if you like this video, leave a like and subscribe. If you didn't like it, uh, just skip to the next video. You'll like it better, maybe. All right, peace.